The Extraordinary Rendition Programme um, is uh, run primarily by um, CIA, but they operate hand in hand with um, foreign intelligence agencies and they also, as we have uncovered, operate with the assistance of um, certain US-based corporations which own and operate the aircraft. The CIA operates in a, in a black hole and it can do whatever it feels necessary to get persons who it deems to be terror suspects um, to detention facilities. We've only sued um, one defendant and that defendant is uh, Jeppesen Data Plane. And Jeppesen Data Plane are a wholly owned subsidiary of the Boeing Aerospace Company. In this lawsuit we allege that over a four year period Jepson actively participated in the rendition program by supplying flight and logistical services to a total of 15 aircraft which were used by the CIA in the Extraordinary Rendition Program. Binya Mohammed is an Ethiopian citizen who has legal residence in the United Kingdom. He was rendered on two occasions, and on those two occasions, the CIA rendered him using the services of um, Jepson Data Plane. So Jepson Data Plane, what they did was arrange flight and logistical services um, to pick Mohammed up um, in Pakistan and then fly him to a detention facility in Morocco. Here I have a diary of Biniam and I'm gonna read uh, from his diary for you. They cut off my clothes with some kind of doctor's scalpel. I was totally naked. They took the scalpel to my right chest. It was only a small cut, maybe an inch. At first, I just screamed. They beat them up. Um, they strip them of their clothes. Um, they humiliate them. They take photographs of them. Um, they then sedate them and then uh, chain them into the seat of an aircraft and fly them to their end destination point. And that destination point could be a US-run uh, secret black site facility or it could be to the custody of foreign intelligence agencies in countries such as um, Syria, Egypt or Jordan, where the whole world knows torture is routine. We filed this lawsuit against Jeppesen because we felt it was important to hold the corporation accountable for its complicity in the rendition and torture programs of the U.S. government. U.S. corporations should not be able to reap profits off of a program that is illegal and violates the basic values of Americans, individuals,